So this is our Jayco Cross Track. It's a 2022 model, 13 foot, and has the bunks. Um, this is our outside kitchen. So we have a Dometic two burner gas stove. We've put a bunch of fusion locks around the outside just from Bunnings. Up here we have just our cooking utensils, plates, bowls, and stuff like that. Under here we have our food, more food storage, and our frying pans and saucepans. So this only comes factory from 2022 onwards. So before that, they didn't actually have this patch here. We have two outside power points here that we use to run our coffee machine and air fryer. Around here, we have our freezer. So it normally obviously is for a fridge, but we actually have our fridge in our car. So we just use this as our freezer storage. We've added a table here just for some more bench prep and Give some extra space. Around here, we've used our jerry can holder as a bin. So we've just used the standard um, jerry, chopped the lid off, and yeah, put it made it a bin. This is our firewood box. So we just keep our chainsaw and firewood in there. It comes standard with two nine kilo gas bottles. We use this one here as a grey water um, collection tank because this van actually doesn't have a grey water tank. We have two eBay solar panels, so they're both 385 watts each. It comes standard with a DO35 hitch. And then if you come around here, this is the back side of the freezer. So in here we just keep our Weber and um, our levelling ramps and stuff. We just don't use that often. In here is the access to under the bed, so you can actually access this compartment from under the bed. So we just keep tables and chairs and um, firewood cooking stuff and stuff. We just don't obviously use that often. All right, so this here is our shower tent, um, obviously because we don't have a shower inside. Here um, has our hot and cold water tap and same with our shower head, which we just hook up to this little part here. It's just a broom handle from um, Bunnings. This here is our 10 foot care free awning that we do have a privacy screen that does hook into this sail track. Right, so this is now the inside of our Jayco cross track. We've just put just a muck mat on here. We've also, um, with the door, they've actually got a spline that you can put midgy fly screen proof in there. If not, it's just a standard like crimp safe door. So we got some fly screen and put that on it to stop the midges and mosquitoes. In here we've actually done a bit of, made it different. So it normally comes with a standard big L lounge under here, but we got this custom made in Mandra for around $600. We've got a standard cot mattress and put it in here for Levi as he's only two months old. Then this is just from Kmart. It's just a cube storage thing. We bolted it to the timber panel here so it doesn't fall out. So Isla has two and Levi has two. There's a little void space behind it that we just keep some towels and extra nappies in. Then if you come in here. All right, so in here we've added a extra Sirocco fan. It comes standard with one Sirocco fan in the corner, which we don't use because it's pretty well at our head. But yeah, we've added an extra one. We've got our remote for our iTech World inverter, which is a 3000 watt inverter, and we run 360 amp hours of lithium battery. They are stored under here, but I'll put a little segment in now of what's actually under here. We have three 120 amp hour lithium batteries. This shunt here lets it show up in the projector app to see what battery you have and like the solar input and stuff like that. This here is our 40 amp hour DC DC charger. Our 3000 watt inverter is under Levi's bed, so all the cables just run through that hole and yeah, we can operate the inverter from that control panel there. So we just flick it on instead of going under the bed to use it. But yeah, that's our battery system set up for our caravan. So in here, we've also got the bed. So the bed is a double width, but a queen length. There's two cupboards here. So I've got these two cupboards and Matthew has a big void space down next to the bed. 
We've both got a nook each. So in mine, it's I just saw some gym gear and some swimwear. And Matthew saw some jumpers and hats. We just keep this foldable basket as a laundry basket. But yeah, when the kids want a bath, we actually just use that as a bathtub as well. In this cupboard, um, we keep our toiletries up the top and we each have a drawer. Then we've got the nappies and just some extra toiletries. And then down the bottom, we keep the air fryer and the coffee machine. I've just got some stick-on mirrors from um, Ikea. They just adhesive ones that are plastic coated so they can't smash. Um, in here, we've actually got a toilet because this van obviously doesn't have a toilet. So we've just put a toilet in here on a, it's, I think it was a generator slide we found that perfectly fits. So this just comes out and... Yeah, we've just got a toilet in here. So all those self-contained spots we can go to. And then that just hooks in there. And then, yeah, she's just strapped in. And then we just shut this and just latch it on. And then up here, obviously, you've just got your standard skylight. And then we've just got our Dometic aircon up here, which we've turned on a couple of times with the setup we currently have because we do have a changeover switch that does allow us to use our power points off grid that we got hardwired in by a certified electrician but yeah that's pretty well our 2022 jaco cross track and then down here we've just got our weights and all that but yeah it suits us for now the kids love it yeah, Levi's perfect size for that cot mattress. It's just literally a standard cot mattress that fits a cot. And then, yeah, Isla's normally up here. And I just made some curtains. Because obviously she has a light in her bunk, which does also that light. So when she goes to bed, we just pull that down. And she's in there. And then Levi's one. We've just put a tension rod holder from here to here. And then... He's got a curtain as well that I just sewed up that you can just pull along here when it is a bit bright. But yeah, that's pretty well the inside of our Jayco 2022 cross track.